The back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 99, the Game Master. Habitats, level 389. Footnote, despite the Game Master's supposed inability to exit the gaming hall, numerous items from outside said level have been documented within it. How she obtained such items is unknown, although it may be related to her exhibited ability to contact devices in other levels, most commonly phones. End footnote. Image caption. An artist rendition of the Game Master in her idle state. Description. Entity 99, better known as the Game Master, is a jester-like puppet with a high level of control over reality within the gaming hall. She is known for tricking people into entering her level and challenging them to a game of their choice. Behaviors The Game Master is a sentient entity with an erratic personality. Her consistently documented behaviors include the verbal usage of internet slang, referencing recent popular media and quote-unquote memes, difficulty accepting defeat, and a tendency to manipulate wanderers into playing games with her. While in her idle state, the Game Master is most commonly seen lying face down on the floor of level 389, but there have also been recorded instances of her playing video games, watching videos, or speaking to herself near the curtains at the back of the level. The Game Master has shown pride in her diverse catalog of playable games. Although she insists that the games are her own original creations, they bear suspicious similarities to those existing in the front rooms. Despite claiming to be a stickler for rules, she has been proven to frequently attempt to cheat in her own games to gain further advantages. Additionally, although the Game Master claims otherwise, almost all of the games tend to be structured in such a way that the outcome favors her. Show Documented Game Catalog Infinity a game of matching cards depending on color, ranging from the common array to shades such as lavender and aquamarine, or symbol, commonly numbers 1 through 9. The first player to run out of cards wins. Death, a morbid twist on a popular game. Instead of going through various milestones in life and gathering money and building a family, in this game, the players race through the board experiencing many tragedies, gathering debts, and eventually experiencing a brutal death. The goal is to die, and then tally up quote-unquote karma, and whoever has the most wins. Red Herring A murder has occurred at a place known as the Scarlet House. All players must race to find who did it, how, and where it happened. One player is assigned as the killer, and instead of solving the case, their goal is to mislead the other players and get them to submit an incorrect accusation. Capitalism A game where players race to get the most money by buying properties, companies, patents, and inventions. Battle Planes A game of strategy and planning, where two players place their pieces on a board separated by a large screen with holes modeled after a radar. The goal is to strike down the opposing player's pieces with nukes by guessing what coordinates the pieces are on. Chess, the Great War. A modified version of chess with a longer board and many more pieces themed after military ranks. The pawns are replaced with privates, bishops with corporals, knights with specialists, rooks with sergeants, the queen with major sergeant, and the king with general. Checkers, the Battle of Kingdoms, a modified version of checkers, including ten pieces called servants, that function the same as the originals. In addition, there are two more pieces, known as the prince and princess. The prince may move two spaces to the right, left, or forward, and the princess may only move one space in any available position, including backwards. To win, a player's prince or princess must reach the other side of the board and be crowned as the monarch. Mr. Bun's Party A party game about collecting the most carrots and gaining beetroots by winning morbid minigames based around cooking. There are presumably 10 playable characters. However, Mr. Bun and Miss I are the only confirmed characters. Miss I is a copy of Mr. Bun's model but with inverted colors and her face replaced with a singular eye. 
the Game Master seems to always choose Miss I. Biology. The Game Master's face consists of a glass screen that digitally displays two red X's for eyes, and a cartoonish smile by default, though it can also display various other expressions. The rest of the Game Master's body is a patchwork of blue and yellow fabric, stuffed with what is presumed to be cotton. The Game Master's extremities appear to be crafted from wood, typical of a marionette puppet. Small red spheres that emit a squeaking sound are attached to the tips of her jester hat, the ends of her shoes, and the middle of her torso. The wrists, ankles, and other various parts of her body are suspended by red strings, the source of which is untraceable, as they seem to extend infinitely. Discovery It is unknown when the Game Master first appeared or was first discovered. Interviews with survivors who have explored the gaming hall have reported the existence of various games from as far back as the early 1900s in her catalog. Even older games and items have been reported, but are yet to be documented. The Game Master herself only comments that such games are, quote, old and boring, end quote. She was first reported to be active around 10 years ago, when several people reported seeing a checkerboard pattern door before them. Said witnesses were reported missing shortly thereafter. Additional information. Interestingly, the Lost are known to have worshipped a deity in their pantheon, known as Nunca. Many details about this being strikingly resemble those of the Game Master, from the jester-like motif to the eccentric mannerisms to the jovial demeanor. This may suggest that the Game Master has a more ancient origin than initially believed, but confirmation of this theory is still pending. There have been reports of the Game Master talking to an unknown individual near the curtains of level 389. It is unknown what both were discussing, but it is notable for the following incident. Email received by the MEG database. 9th of March, 2020, 1427. Game Master Audio Log, ccdd178 at gmail.com. 2. manv at majorexplorergroup.com. Hi, silly XD. I was walking around and then I found a phone. It was still working. Isn't that crazy? It had a bunch of boring stuff, XC. But I found a weird video about a really cool and awesome master beating someone who sucked at capitalism. She totally rocked it. You have no way to stop her. Reply, forward, save, delete. Attachments. GameMaster.mp3 Attached to this message was a video file taken from said phone. However, due to the Game Master's self-censorship, the video itself was static, but the audio remained intact. The following is a transcript of the file. Show log transcript. Date of recording. Unknown. Interviewer. Deceased individual of unknown identity, who will be referred to as player. Interviewee. The Game Master. Level 389. Begin log. Sounds of hurried footsteps and light breathing. One can see a room in level 389 as the person hides behind a shelf. They pan the camera to the floor, which causes it to black out. Player. The camera cut out. Shit. Wait, is it recording audio? I hope so. Okay, uh, there's a big weird doll puppet thing on the floor, like face down. It has. Wait. Player's scream is cut off as the recording cuts and jumps to a different point in time. Player, wait, wait, let me get this straight. You want me to pick up a, a game and play it with you? Th that's it? There's no catch? A new voice is heard, presumed to be Game Master's. It is distorted and changes in pitch at random. Game Master. Yes, of course. The only rule is to not cheat at the game. I even let you choose it so that I can prove that I am really the master. If I catch you cheating at it, you will be kicked from the game. Player's breath gets audibly shaky as the game master talks. Player. And, and, if I win, I get to leave. You aren't lying. Game master. Of course, home dog. Why would the coolest person ever lie about the rules? I explained everything I needed to. Player. Fine, I'll play your game. 
Recording fast forwards quickly to what is presumed to be the game session. A clack of plastic pieces is heard against the cardboard. Player. What do I do if I roll, um, a Monopoly man? Game Master screeches in a distorted pitch. He is called CEO. I don't own the rights to Monopoly Man. I'm trying to avoid a lawsuit from the lawyer god. Note, see the entity Argos. Player, right. Um, I still don't know what to do if Game Master, you move to the next unknown property, duh. Player, okay, so this property, can I buy it? Game Master, Yes, yes, of course. It's just a real expensive one. Don't lose all your money in one go. Player, I can afford it, I think. And you might land on it soon, so I'll get rent on, um, the Egg Street? Why are these named like Game Master? Yeah, you can get rent. If I even land there in the first place, you won't catch me doing that this time. More plastic pieces hit the board loudly, prompting Game Master to mockingly laugh. Game Master... I told you, I got a bus roll. Now I get to move 10 spaces and use the bus in the same turn. Player, the bus takes you to a card, right? That doesn't matter too much, I think. The noise of the game master cackling after picking up the card echoes around the room, causing player to yelp. Game master, due to housing laws, you have to give me your most expensive property for free. Player, what? That's not fair at all. Stupid. Recording goes silent for approximately 10 minutes before skipping approximately two hours later. Player, I can't buy the property. I don't have the money to do so. Game Master, well, you can't back out of it. You already landed there, which means, oh, silly me, that means you're bankrupt, aren't you? Player, what? No, just let me take out a loan or something. I can still play. I don't want to be stuck here. The sound of the board and plastic pieces hitting the floor is interrupted as player starts pleading. Due to audio distortion in the recording, it is unclear what they said specifically. After a minute of them pleading while the game master laughs, they begin to loudly scream in presumed pain. Because we have no visuals, we are unsure what happened. After 10 minutes of screeching, the recording goes quiet. End log. Due to the lack of visuals, the events that occurred at the ending of the recording are unclear. Do's and don'ts. Do. Ignore messages from unknown accounts telling you to go to level 389. Follow the rules of the chosen game. Report any encounter or information to the Meg. Don't. Go to level 389. Cheat at the chosen game. Taunt or ridicule the game master. Try to fight or question the game master. Comedic. In the beginning was sheer potential. Uncountable concepts being coalesced and divided, instantaneously forming and destroying archetypes. From raw power, beings of divinity were formed, the only ones able to withstand unruly existence. They claimed the raging tides and installed the rules to allow for the creation of lesser life. The rest, as they say, is history. I was not the first to take form. The souls birthed from our primordial dance built the bridge into existence for us, and I was the first to cross it. In turn, I repaid those very same souls with the priceless power. When minds cry out in misery for a respite from suffering, I give them release in the form of humor. The downtrodden, the outcast, and the disturbed turn to me. For in the end, they will all see the funny side. A mocking of brutality. A laugh at one's hopelessness. A joke will ease the suffering of any ailment, no matter how unescapable. I am in symbiosis with mortals. The true joke is on my elder kin, who hold their supposed superiority over me like a leash on a rabbit dog. They think themselves my betters, but I will show them otherwise. My power is not strength nor cunning. But finality. I am the only point of view left in any being's moments. The last breath of any man or god is expelled as a laugh. Upon the dying realization of the last truth, I breathe through them, and we laugh together.
The other pillars think I am young and therefore weak, but I am under none of their false pretenses of importance or royalty. I was not the first to enter existence, but I will not be the last to exit when the curtain falls upon the stage. I shall have the last laugh. Game Master's limbs move not of their own free will, but in a dance to my impish tune. The strings weave through all minds, able to comprehend how humorous your stark reality is. I sprung from the souls of men, and in turn they remember my mischief. Humor is ingrained in their being so deeply that laughter is more infectious than any disease. My melodic madness is the final realization. In the end, there is no choice left but to see the funny side. I am Como Oade, and I am the final truth.